Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Revive Witch video. Alright, today's video we will have a look at the events, uh, event stages, the Phantom Mirror of the Stars. As you guys can see, I've completed up to S1-8. Now, uh, I thought S1-8 was really interesting because it's a boss stage. Now, obviously this is something that you don't have to do multiple times. The boss stage is something that you only do one time, right? And then once you get the rewards, you can't get anything past that. I believe there's a few difficulties like the heart 2 that I'm doing right now. But I found some interesting things about the previous stages as well. Which is the S1-7. That is something that... Oh wait, the auto is turned off. That is something that you want to pay attention to. S1-7 is, is the event stage that perhaps some of you might be able to farm. Now, I found this uh, Reddit post which I'm going to show you guys shortly. If you are able to get at least 40%, alright, I'm talking about the bonus boost. To get 40%, you either need Ella or Nanar or who's the other one? There's one more character, Metamorphosis, but she's not available yet. So I believe you either need Ella or Nanar to be able to get 40%. Yeah, you, you definitely need one of them. So 40% and above is quite efficient to actually farm for S1-7. And yeah, some of you guys were commenting about the boss being fairly difficult. Um, this is a team that I'm using in case you guys are wondering. I'm using a Fallen. A Fallen, man, she's just so broken. Look at her, she's not dying. A Fallen is just insanely broken. Uh, we also have... Who's that behind a Fallen? Ushpia. A Fallen. Ushpia. And the last girl. What's her name? Dang, I always forget her name. The last girl, the, the one that everybody gets for free. Twonel? No, no, Twonel is a UR, right? Twonel is a UR. This is... Kalenia. I think it's Kalenia. The the SSR that everybody gets for free from... Was it pre-registration pre or something? Oh, look at that. The boss was able to kill my Fallen. Yo, but you don't get anything afterwards. Oh, okay, okay. So I thought you get more, but you, you only get this one time. So it doesn't matter, once you have cleared hard 1, you don't really need to do hard 2, hard 3. If you care about rankings, sure. Let me see a uh, ranking list. So yeah, this is the best record and stuff. So I'm not in the ranking, because I only beat hard 2, but if you can beat hard 8, I'm guessing you'll be in the rankings. Alright, just a quick glance through my team. Um, a Fallen right here, level 53. These are the equipments I have. Skill is 4, 4, 1. And then we have C Netia, 441 as well. Uh 1031. And then last but not least, Ushpia 10 10 20 4 3 1. Definitely she's the weakest amongst the three. I'm gonna work on her next. So yeah, uh back to the topic, right? Basically, like I mentioned, in the shop, the redemption shop, you know, prioritize in buying as many of these things as you can. Most of these are pretty good. I would say put priority in uh you know, this character, Acheron, if you want to buy the Soulstone, go ahead. I'm not sure how useful she is. I heard that she's not too useful. But the rest of this, definitely, as you can see, I've emptied out the shop. And yeah, for those of you who are wondering, I did found this post on Reddit. Big shout out to uh, LT123. Alright, he did posted this calculation right here. Stamina efficiency for S1-7. So there's a lot of things to see here. Uh, you can just read this post on your own. I'll try to link it in the description below. But basically, if... You are able to get 40% or higher bonus, alright? It's actually more efficient to farm in S1-7, auto farm this stage, than to farm in the Dream World, the Mana Dreamland, uh, Dream of Adin 6. So yeah, uh, to get 40% bonus, you're gonna need a lot. You're gonna need one of these characters. You either need Nana, Metamorphosis, or Ella, right? And so far, only two of them are available. And you know, for me, I only get 30%, so definitely it's less efficient for me to farm in this stage. Most likely, if I need mana, I'm just going to farm in that mana dreamland stages. But right now, I'm trying to get uh, most of my character skills up. And also, for those of you who are wondering, and if you're still thinking which one you want to pull, I will highly recommend you guys to wait for Metamorphosis, because I think she's going to be much better overall. Now that they are here, let's just compare their skills and give you guys an idea. So as you can see for Nana, she's not bad. It's just that if you have a Fallen, you don't really need her. So she has really similar skill with a Fallen. 
same class Guardian and she's also blue as well as you can see. Level 5 reduces damage taken by 20%, gains a shield equals to 50% of max health, right? So you can see what am I talking about in that sense. A Fallen has the exact, you know, exact same skill if I'm not mistaken at level 5. Let me have a look. 40% of max health, redirects. And yeah, it's really really similar. If you look at both their skills, they are both really similar. So I feel like a Fallen is a much better character overall because she can do more damage if you look at the pillow and stuff. So definitely I would highly recommend. If you guys are still thinking you want to pull for Nana or you want to wait for the next banner, I would say wait for the next banner where Metamorphosis come because she's definitely going to be, you know, slightly stronger. Let's have a look at the skills. In case you guys are wondering what she's capable of. Metamorphosis is a compeller. She's a yellow compeller. But you can see, change the mask and heals all allies for 200% of her attack. Applies different buffs and she can have up to 3 different buffs randomly, right? She has this rage which increases attack of all allies based on her attack. She has joy which increases the damage dealt by all allies by 20%. And sorrow, decrease damage taken. So you can see overall, she just has this a bit of gamble in terms of the skills, but definitely quite a lot of versatility. She can boost damage, she can, you know, increase damage taken, and also decrease damage taken as well. So the secondary skill, the emotion surge, this is a physical attack, and deals physical to all enemies, increase the net effect of Boro by 100% for 5 seconds. Now Boro is this particular, uh, the first skill basically. Increase allies damage or healing of the next active skills by 100% as well. So. Pretty good skill, every 20 seconds increase self-attack by 40%. So definitely she's one of the better compellers, I think she's definitely quite meta. If you're looking to pull for a meta character that you're going to be using for a long time, definitely save for meta morphosis. Hey, that rhymes, right? Alright guys, so with that being said, let me know what you guys think of this event. Do you guys think it's too difficult? I think it's the difficulty is just nice. I think most players, if you reroll for a Fallen, I don't see why you would struggle with any of these stages. And the hard mode? Can't wait for it. We're gonna see in four more days. So as always, if you haven't already, subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.